Would you guess that I have a lead foot when driving? Absolutely, I do. And do you know how classroom expectation posters are related to unsafe driving? Every time I step into the car when I am late, which is way too often, I'm afraid, I forget about the speed zone. Do you know what helps me to become a safe driver again? Speed limit signs. Classroom expectations posters work the same way. Classroom expectations posters are an effective tool for creating and keeping a positive and productive learning environment. They are visual reminders of expected behaviors, which is what speed limit signs do. When you post the classroom expectations posters, there's no room for excuses and arguments. And yes, it is true. I forget about the speed every single time. I also forget every single winter morning that I need to leave time to scrape the ice off the windows. But I do set my clocks ahead by five minutes, so it all works out for good. Our students need these supports just as much or more than we do. Anchor charts are visual tools that support lessons by showing key concepts, strategies, processes, and guidelines. Classroom rules posters are just anchor charts that contain the classroom expectations and rules. The best anchor charts are created collaboratively with your students. Anchor charts benefit your classroom by enhancing student understanding, providing a visual reminder of learning, and promoting independence. Anchor charts are an example, would be classroom expectations posters, and they are research-based. They are especially supported in the areas of visual and collaborative learning research. You may be wondering if anchor charts are an instructional strategy. Absolutely they are. Anchor charts are widely used to support various aspects of teaching and learning. You see them throughout almost every grade, K-12, I'm sure, and probably into post-secondary. Why are anchor charts helpful? They help students to solidify their understanding usual using a visual representation of key concepts. And a well-designed classroom rules poster will use images and language that teach, reinforce, and reaffirm classroom rules and expectations. Before we dig into the importance of classroom expectations posters, let me introduce myself. Simply put, classroom expectations posters support classroom management by providing clear or essential and consistent, vital, reminders of the classroom rules. By making the classroom expectations and rules clear, consistent and accessible, they support classroom management while also promoting student autonomy by reducing repetitive questions. If you are undecided about the importance of classroom expectations and rules, please consider the video 11 important examples of classroom expectations and rules or five reasons why classroom rules are important. And you can find the links to those videos down below. Or perhaps you're already on board for the why behind classroom expectations and, rule and rules. So then the question is really about whether or not to post the anchor charts or posters. Because the truth is that too many posted visuals can be a distraction to you, your classroom, your students, but classroom expectations posters are not the ones to ignore. 
So you might be wondering why classroom expectations posters make the cut. So here are, uh, I've got eight reasons for you. First of all is visual learning. Visual aids, as you know, significantly enhance learning and retention. It is because anchor charts are so valuable uh, that we also need to be careful to discern what also stays up and what comes down. Classroom expectations posters can improve understanding and memory of classroom expectations and rules by providing both visual and verbal representations, which help students to process and recall the information. Uh, they're also an example of collaborative learning. Social interactions are important for learning, and when anchor charts are created co collaboratively with students, the meaning becomes more meaningful and memorable. This is why the anchor charts that I have created have the option of writing or typing on the classroom expectations you create together. There are pictures that give you guidance and you can formulate the actual expectation together as the actual first lesson in a subject area. And you can see an image of what these would look like in my store uh, just on the page right there. Scaffolding. Scaffolding students means that students can achieve greater understanding when offered some structured guidance. And that's what an anchor chart is. So, but for example, in math, this could be as simple as differentiated content in a worksheet or activity or access to a tool that helps them to complete their math facts accurately prior to having committed them to memory. Similarly, classroom expectations posters or anchor charts are just a visual reference that provides a visual support to support their independence and learning over time. And there's something called cognitive load theory or CLT. That's quite a heading to say. Let me tell you, I, my words get mixed with that one. CLT just means that when students have to use their memory less, they can learn more. Classroom expectations posters give your students a visual reference so that your students don't need to hold multiple pieces of information in their working memory. Lower cognitive load facilitates learning. Creating effective classroom expectations posters uh, because a significant part of the value of classroom expectations posters is in the visual component of the poster it is important that they are both visually appealing and functional there are many teachers who are capable of drawing adorable figures that support the classroom rules stated on the posters i am not people like me need to choose attractive and age-appropriate clip art or photos my husband teaches high school while i well, I teach grade one and two, and so we would use completely different visuals, of course. We would definitely choose different clip art, and I chose clip art of children that are the same age or a little older than my students. I would never choose the images of children that were younger because that would not be appealing to an older age group. Clip art children who look younger than the children in your class can be offensive to some kiddos. Also use simple language that coordinates with the visuals and ensures readability from different parts of the room. So, you know, one or two words, you're gonna be able to put that in larger print. They're gonna be able to see that from far enough away and um, it's uh, attractive to read. Or you can use classroom expectations posters at the station or part of the room where the expectations apply. So you might put them up near the, the door for when it's time to line up so they can be reminded and you can review those with them as they do the lineup. So having prioritized classroom expectations posters, now the question is how to display classroom expectations posters. As I mentioned earlier, even though anchor charts in general are an evidence-based and effective classroom management strategy and instructional strategy, it is important to keep down the visual overwhelm. Obviously, you are not going to leave the vocabulary chart for studying the parts of an animal for your study of life cycles when you have moved on to studying force of motion or light and sound. Keeping up only what is relevant is key to cutting clutter, and this is po possible with classroom rules posters as well. In my class, I would project the classroom rules poster for art cleanup towards the end of the lesson. I would not keep it up all the time. But for lining up, for example, as I mentioned earlier, I would have my expectations for lining up posted near every door for as long as necessary, even if it was needed all year long. Typically, I would go through the expectations every time we lined up until I could see that they were following the expectations without reminder. 
then a brief run through after long breaks like winter or Christmas holiday was typically all that was required. Students know that to get where they wanted to go, which was typically something fun like music, PE or recess, they had to settle down and follow the expectations on the poster. So this has the added benefit of taking something they really want to do and using it to positively reinforce falling in with classroom expectations. And that also became very intrinsically, um, made them become intrinsically aligned to following classroom expectations. So how to teach these? Simple, simple, simple. Um, I do have this covered in an earlier video. And again, you can see links to other videos that I've done down below. Uh, but let's, I'll do a brief run through here. First of all, you're going to establish the rules together. Including student input encourages student engagement, acceptance, and observance. Two, discuss the rules and establish why each rule is important. Three, include symbols or drawings of each rule to support understanding. Four, use activities like bingo, crossword puzzles, or word searches to reinforce the expectations. Five, review the classroom rules posters prior to the lesson for which they will be applicable, or as I mentioned earlier, before they head outside for recess. Six, reinforce if necessary with opportunities to practice the expectation at recess. Seven, affirm students by name whenever you see them following the rules. This praise can have an ebb and flow. When students need to be reminded, restart your affirmations and use them consistently. When they are remembering the rules to prioritize uh, your affirmations elsewhere, okay? And eight, tell your students every time someone comments on what a well-behaved classroom they are, further demonstrating to them that uh, following the expectations builds uh, their reputation. Classroom expectations posters. These are the foundation of your classroom management. Classroom expectations posters speak for you. They are valuable tools for establishing and maintaining classroom expectations and rules. Using these tools effectively supports you as you create a structured, supportive, and visually engaging learning environment that supports student success. Classroom expectations posters speak for you. Again, I say, when created collaboratively, you become the instrument of supporting a safe place as opposed to being a rule maker. If creating all of the classroom expectations posters collaboratively becomes overwhelming, focus just on those that need the most student engagement. Take one step at a time. I know you've got this. Thanks for joining me. Hope to see you soon. Bye now. One final thank you for sharing your time with me today. I want to encourage you that growth for a teacher is just like growth for a student, one step at a time. Be kind to yourself and congratulate yourself for each step forward that you take. You have been blessed with an amazing calling. The, the challenges are many, but I'm here to support you. You've got this. With my desire to walk with you in mind, I offer one last reminder. If you found this or any other video helpful, I encourage you to download the free classroom management checklist. Find the link in the description below. Thanks for joining me today and I hope to see you soon. Bye now.